When the patient is medically fit for discharge, you then need to think about the medicines. What is the patient going to go home on? If you're planning to make any changes to the medicines regimen on discharge, then it's best practice to make those changes to the current inpatient chart first. So if you were going to increase the ramipril or decrease the ibuprofen, for example, you would do that from the inpatient chart first. That's because if the patient then doesn't go home as you had intended um, or they they are readmitted in a short time frame, then the inpatient chart would then match the TTO. When they don't match, there's some confusion. Sometimes things are missed. So once you're happy that the inpatient chart is up to date, you can then click Discharge Rx to prescribe your TTO or your discharge medicines. When you're in this tab, you click at the top here. It says Add Drug from Inpatient. That will bring you basically a list of things that were on the inpatient chart that are available for prescribing on discharge. So with the Ramapril, I would like that on my TTO. So I'm going to click Adds to Discharge. You can see then it's nice and prominent that that's what you've selected. And if it's um, something to go on there, repeat prescription, you can click GP to continue. And that helps to indicate to quite often non-qualified receptionists um, and prescription clerks at GP practices. It helps them to understand that this is something that you had intended to continue. So of course, if it's a short course of something, then you wouldn't tick GP to continue. You'll see for this medication, it's defaulted as a seven day supply. But for short courses um, and certain other medicines, PRNs, it won't necessarily give you that. So if I want ibuprofen, um, I'm going to say, well, it's a short course whilst they've got a particular knee injury or whatever. Um, And then it's warning me I need to put a duration. So I'm going to put seven days in as well for this one. 77 um, and then when I'm happy that I've got everything I don't want cyclozine so I'm happy with that I'm going to click save All right so now you can see in the TTO list or the discharge rx list these are the things I've got on here you can discontinue it again if you want to um, in a similar way to the inpatient chart so you'd click on the medication and then you go to order modify and then discontinue order. So if you changed your mind about something, you can do that. Um, and then when you're happy with what you have on your list, you go to discharge letter. And you'll see here, it, the system should know who you are when you log in. But if it's blank, then you can put your name in. So you'll just have to assume my name's not on here because I'm not a doctor, but your name would be here. Um, and you can select from the drop down if that isn't your name. Um, make sure that this is the correct discharge date and time because if you've if you've started this process a few days ago and gone back in sometimes it won't let you save unless you've updated this discharge date so just make sure that that's accurate and if you needed to write any medicines related information in here as well you can do by clicking on doctor's notes and type that in but that's not mandatory I'm going to save this you'll see it's tells you it's saved And then once I'm happy that there's no other changes, I can then click complete discharge. And that just changes something in the background and logs it as completed. If you're working on day surgery or um, emergency department or somewhere where you have TTO packs and it's ward led discharge, at this point you can then print a copy of the TTO. But if you're working in a normal uh, inpatient area where pharmacy will produce the TTO, don't print anything. And then you so you can click save without printing rather than wasting paper to print it out. And then you click send order to pharmacy. And then that confirms in the background that the TTO is complete and waiting. But don't assume that that means that suddenly someone in pharmacy is aware that A, you've written this, B, you need this done today. Um, and anything like that, you still need to speak with pharmacy and make sure that that communication is there. Otherwise, we won't necessarily know that this is the one that needs to take priority. On a similar note, if you later come back and let's say a TTO has already been written and you later come back and decide you're going to change something. So you're going to stop something or start something or change a dose. It's really important that pharmacy know that you've gone back in and changed it because there is otherwise a risk that those changes are not spotted by pharmacy, particularly if we've already done the TTO, then the patient goes home without the changes, those last minute changes that you had intended. 
And a way of telling whether pharmacy has actually seen the TTO or not is to look over here. It's quite um, pale, but you'll see there's a little question mark here. And that question mark, you see when I hover over it, it says not verified. That's a pharmacy term, but it means that the pharmacist hasn't actually seen and approved this TTO yet. So if it's if it's unverified, it probably means we haven't seen it yet. And then any changes you make when we do go to see it, once you've told us, then that will be fine. But if a pharmacist has gone in and verified something, you'll see there there's a tick. So if you come along and you see that there are ticks on all of the medicines in the, t in the TTO window, in this Discharge RX window, then that would suggest that pharmacy has already processed it and you definitely need to tell us if you've made a change. It's all about patient safety. Okay, um, just to bear in mind that the pharmacist on the ward may also help you by prescribing a TTO themselves, so do work with them and we might very well have some notes on the system for you to have a look at before a TTO can be processed. There might be some queries on it, so please do. If you see a note pop up um, that says action for doctors, then please do look at those because that's our way of communicating with you about any queries about the medication, any problems, anything to follow up. Okay.